Jordan with CellSite Solutions. Today we're going to do a startup on a commercial industrial generator. We're going to go through some of the pre-operational checks. Today we got a 30kW Kohler generator. Looks like this unit only has 168 hours on it. So we're going to go through some of the pre-standard operational checks here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to check the oil level. That is full. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to check coolant level. Then we're going to check and inspect for coolant leaks, lower upper coolant hoses. We're going to check the air filter condition. Then we're going to check the belt condition. We will remove the shrouds, check the belt tension, check the belt for frays and cracks. And that's a proper way to check the belts in your pre-checks. So then we're going to come over to the menu. We're going to go into engine monitoring, coolant temp. This unit is 77 degrees. The normal unit would be around 105 degrees since this unit is not hooked up to power. We're going to go scroll down to battery voltage. We're at 12.6 in this unit. The normal unit hooked up to AC power is going to be around 13, 13.5 volts. We're going to turn this unit to off. Then we're going to go into the run position. We're going to go into engine monitoring, check the oil pressure. We're going to check the coolant temp engine RPM, battery run voltage. And we're gonna go back to the generator monitoring. This unit is set up for 240 single phase. It's 60 hertz. And that's a quick look on how to start a commercial generator. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us at Cell Site Solutions anytime or give us a call.